Hi everyone. A few years ago, Make uploaded a video called How to Shrinkify Arduino Projects, which really rocked the world of Arduino fans everywhere because it showed them that if their project was simple enough, they could replace this entire Arduino Uno board with the much simpler, smaller, and uh, cheaper 80Tiny85 microcontroller. Or rather, the combination of this microcontroller with some code libraries written for it by uh, the Media Lab of MIT. This was really cool. I think it's one of the most popular uh, making Arduino related uh, videos on YouTube. And if you're good with the soldering iron, you can always um, go for the smaller SOIC8 version of the same chip that you see here. But if you really want to impress the other kids, you should probably go to this one. The good old PIC 10F 206. Let me show you what this little guy can do. So here's my little PIC 10F 206 project. Um, I must warn you, this is not really an Arduino replacement in any way. Uh, the PICs are a different architecture. They require different tools, different programming in a sense. Uh, this chip in particular is extremely limited in its resources and its um, capabilities. It can only run uh, 1 million operations per second. It only has a single timer, no interrupts, and, and no EEP ROM. It only has about uh, the equivalent of half a kilobyte of uh, flash memory for the program code and 24 bytes of RAM. That's it. So it's really more of a challenge of how much you can squeeze out of it. Uh, so let me show you what it does. You'll see I soldered, soldered enameled uh, copper wires to the pins of the microcontroller like, like some strange spider. This is the uh, uh, programming interface for the Picket programmer. 3 volt battery on-off switch. And here you can see that the microcontroller is controlling the LED and changes its brightness. It's a uh, sort of a um, PWM signal though th this doesn't have an, a hardware PWM. So I wrote that in software. So that's the output and the input is with this little button that uh, actually freezes freezes the brightness level of the LED as long as you press it. You can make uh, this little game when you try to, to catch the LED when it's least bright or most bright. But that's the sort of applications you, you do for with this kind of uh, MCU. Let me show you the code for this program. So here's a quick overview of the code I wrote for the uh, PIC-10F 206 lead breather. These three lines are uh, configuration bits of uh, watchdog timer, code protection, and the reset pin settings. It includes the XC.H because this is the uh, MP, MPLAB X IDE with the um, XC8 compiler, free version. Um, this is duty cycle of the um, emulated PWM signal. I have a setup here which is really interesting because this is a, this chip is so primitive so to speak that it um, the some registers are not even memory mapped. You can't access them as you would in a regular uh, C code like you would like you, you do here. So if you want to change the option register you have to do that with assembly. This is uh, this loads um, the value 191, which is this uh, binary, into the register W, and option loads W into option. So I essentially copy this value into option, and this turns off, sorry, this turns on the uh, weak pull up resistors which I need for the switch. Now uh, that's for uh, pin GP1. Pin GP0 is the LED. So uh, I turn off the, the uh, special function for that uh, pin and TRIS uh, is the tri-state um, because I want this pin to be output, an output pin and uh, the default is, is input I have to change uh, the TRIS um, register again the same way because it's not memory mapped I have to uh, load this value here in, in PIC, uh, 1 is an, an input pin and 0 is output. And I only have 4 pins because this is a 6-pin uh, mi uh, microcontroller. I have 4 uh, 
um, GPIOs. So I turn this one, the last one, GP, GP0, to 0, which means it will become an output. So I move that into W, move W into Tris. This is in some address in whatever, I don't know. I, I just uh, follow the, um, the datasheet for this one. Not that uh, savvy. Um, cycle goes uh, with a loop of uh, 256 uh, values. And for each one, it uh, outputs whether this uh, the current value is smaller than uh, the duty cycle or not which means that when the duty cycle is low it will uh, light up the LED for a short time and if it's long, if the duty cycle is uh, large it will uh, light up the LED for uh, longer periods which means it, uh, it's perceived as uh, brighter the main uh, function, first we set up, then within, in within an infinite loop we do the breathe in we do that cycle again and again and again with uh, ever increasing uh, duty cycle values. Then when we reach the highest, we do the breathe out. We do this uh, the same thing, but decreasing um, duty cycle. Now, what about the button? That's uh, this if. If GP1, the, the bit that is associated with the input um, button, if it is, uh, as long as it is high, and you remember we use the weak pull up, so it's uh, the default is high. If it's high, then we increase the um, duty cycle again and again until till it's uh, full, and then we go back down. But if GPIO GP uh, GP one is not high, meaning someone is pressing the button, then the value doesn't change, and we stay with this within the same loop and uh, outputting the same uh, PWM again and again which uh, essentially freezes the bright, the perceived brightness. That's the entire code. As you can see, it, uh, it takes 6 bytes of RAM, which is 25% of all we have, and uh, 48 words of, um, of program memory, which is 9%, which means you can actually put um, relatively sophisticated code on this one, because see how much room you have left. Okay, that's the code. So that was the code for this little demo. Again, this is not really an Arduino replacement, it won't help you shrinkify your regular Arduino projects, but I hope it did open your mind a little to other possibilities and other uh, ways of looking at microcontroller and what they can do. And um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you want to see more, tell me in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.